Farron mutes are godlike beings in the world of Arknights, possessing powers unreliant on Originium arts. In fact, Originium seems to have no effect on them, and they are even immune to Oropathy which has killed so many. No one knows exactly what they are, but from the multiple Farron mutes that still exist in Terra, and their deeds and influence over the world, there is much we can learn about these primordial beings. The most well-known Farron mute is most likely Sui, the Farron mute that once resided in the nation of Yan to the east of Terra. Yan played host to many Farron mutes back in the day, but the true lung of Yan at the time, the ruler of the lands, felt threatened by their presence. He believed the Farron mutes were the cause of the catastrophes that plagued his nation, bringing nothing but misfortune to his people. So the old emperor mustered his grand army to wage war against them. These Farron mutes possessed incredible power and mostly took the form of majestic dragons and were not going to be easy to defeat. But the tides of battle would favor the true lung when Sui betrayed his own kin and joined him. Sui wanted to dominate Yan, becoming its one true god. And thus the other Farron mutes were nothing but a hindrance. With the power of Sui by his side, Yan scored victory after victory over the Farron mutes, either forcing them out of Yan or slaying them altogether. Eventually, the Farron mutes were defeated. Those that survived all went into hiding, never to be heard from again. Sui himself was destroyed by the true lung after the war. His body scattered into twelve fragments. Each of these fragments formed personalities of their own, becoming living breathing people whom we now know as the twelve siblings. The sibling who was known as second brother, was the antagonist during the invitation to wine event. The Grand Tutor of Yan challenged the imprisoned second brother to a board game called Wei Qi. The wager was that if the second brother won, the Grand Tutor would free him. But if he lost, then he would have to willingly imprison himself for another 60 years. The second brother accepted the challenge, but lost. Every 60 years after that, the Grand Tutor would challenge the second brother, and the second brother would lose every time. However, the second brother had a special power up his sleeve. Being a fragment of Sui, he had the unique ability of mimicry where he could learn and copy the skills of others. So over hundreds of years he managed to imitate the Grand Tutor's skill at Wei Qi, and eventually defeated him. And thus, the second brother was set free. During his free reign, second brother came into conflict with Jia, the third sister of the fragments of Sui. Not much is known about their confrontation, only that Jia was supposedly killed. As such, the Grand Tutor was forced to imprison the second brother once again. But little did he know, the second brother had split his body into 180 black ghost stones, scattering them across all of Terra. He is currently working with the Ministry of Rights, all with the intent to revive his father, the Farron Mute Sui. To do so he would need to gather all of the siblings together, and thus he schemed to do just that. In the Invitation to Wine event, second brother planned to get his siblings, Nian, Dusk and Ling to converge together in order for him to retrieve their fragments of Sui. He is however defeated and vows to return. Each of the three Sui sisters has their own special abilities, just like the second brother. Ling has the power to bend reality. Showcased when she hit an entire mountain peak known as the 18th peak of Shanshu. Making sure no one would be able to find it no matter how hard they tried. Dusk has the ability to bring her paintings to life, and even create an entire painted world where she can trap her opponents in. In the event, who is real? Saga was noted to have been trapped in Dusk's painted world for over a decade. Although time passes differently in the painted world, thus not much time had actually passed in real life. Cruz and Lava also entered the painted world in search of Dusk. Nian has incredible metalworking skills, even capable of creating constructs of immense scale. When Nian and Lava were shooting a movie in the Ancient Forge event, Nian created a massive kaiju monster from the city of Lungmen itself. The last sibling of Sui we know would be the first brother. He is currently leading the forces in the garrison city of Yuman in the north against the Eldritch Demons. Although Sui is the Farron mute we know the most about, he is not the only one left in Terra. A few thousand years ago, the Farron mute Kierigander led her people to the frozen north and formed the nation of Kierig. She would rule Kierig for centuries before departing, entrusting the nation to the three great families, Silver Ash, Brown Tail and Polaros. Ever since then, these three families remained in charge of the nation. The people of Kierig continued to worship Kierigander to this day. Unbeknownst to them, she had long since returned to Kierig, 
taking the form of Kira and acting as the Carlin Saintess's chief maid. From this position, she continues to watch over her people. During the Break the Ice event, Kira was shown to have the ability to control the weather, banishing the dark clouds and causing a blizzard to cease during Promonix's coronation as Saintess. Other than Sui and Kira, there are also others who are speculated to be Farin mutes. The Ageless of Ursus, a group of immortals who are deeply rooted in Ursus' nobility and politics might be one of them. They control Ursus behind the scenes, sometimes even going against the will of the Emperor of Ursus, much to his frustration. The Deathless Black Snake, also known as Kashchi is an Ageless, he who was the main antagonist of much of the main story. Some even believe Kaltzit to be a Farin mute, or at least related in some ways. As we have seen, Kaltzit possesses an unusually long life, so much so that no one actually knows how old she really is. She is even hinted at to be as old as recorded history itself. Patriot mentioned how Kaltzit did not age at all despite it having been decades since they last met back in Kazdel, before he even joined Ursus. And that is all we know about the Farin mutes of Terra. We can be sure that these powerful, godlike beings would have many more roles to play in the coming story of Arknights. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button. See y'all in the next video.